Boys and gents and welcome to CG Reaction and this is Joshua Norton, the only United States Emperor by the channel Salmonella Academy. United States Emperor? What the hell? And in the thumbnail there was a, you know, Norton antivirus logo. Does that have to do with anything with this? Hmm, this is going to be a, you know, peculiar video, I guess. I love Sam's video because the, he, he always covers topics that are always funny, but uh, the topic that I have no knowledge about. And I always love them because usually I react to some topic, some historical event. Now I have some knowledge about it, so it's always fun to learn. But Sam has always this, you know, small events of the past that are just ridiculous, and I literally have no idea about it. And I'm like, hmm, damn, that really happened. So I love it every single time. So yeah, I've reacted to quite a few Sam video by now. Uh, I've created a playlist for it. Check out in the card. Check out in the end card. And if you haven't seen my other reaction that I did, uh, check out the link in the description, which has all of my videos in it. And yeah, uh, like the video if you like it, and subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I upload the videos. Uh, you re you really will help the channel out. And yeah, let's watch the video. This video is sponsored by Wix. Hey kids, let me ask you, do you watch the news often? Have you attended a school in your life? You ever look at a dollar? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, then chances are you're familiar with at least a couple United States presidents. Yeah, but if few. you're like me prior to last week, you've probably never heard of a United States emperor. Um, excuse me, good sir, but I should inform you that we're actually living under an emperor as we speak, at least according to my degree from the University of Reddit. Hey, that's great. Whoa, look over there. It's someone criticizing Elon Musk. <gasps> And he's making typos. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, let me tell y'all a story about a man named J Oh my god, that is so passive aggressive description of Reddit. I love it. Oh, that was so awesome. Yeah, Elon Musk. I mean, I've never seen any people who are more protected by, you know, people on the internet than Elon Musk. That is so true. And he's making a typo and he just ran over like Elon Musk and making a typo. That those two things, that's enough. Joshua Norton. Norton was born in England at some point in the 1810s. Very little is known about the guy's younger years other than the fact that he spent most of his youth in South Africa as part of the UK's colonization programs. He came to San Francisco in 1849 with a modest amount of wealth to his name and worked his way up in the real estate and commodities markets to become one of the city's wealthiest citizens. All was normal in the life of Mr. Norton, until one day when he got a little too big for his britches. You see, in 1852, China was facing a huge famine, so they completely banned the export of rice. Naturally, San Fran's rice price began to skyrocket in response to the reduced supply, peaking at 36 cents per pound. Norton saw this and decided to buy a $25,000 rice shipment from Peru at 12 cents per pound, thinking he'd corner the market. Keep in mind, that's around $750,000 in today's money. Little did he know, that wasn't the only shipment coming out of Peru, and by the time he was able to sell it, rice was already back down to 3 cents a pound. Now, according to my calculations, that put Norton at a net loss of a whole frickin' lot. He subsequently Damn, that is strong, isn't it? So he's like, you know what? I'm gonna buy, you know, the rice from the Peru in cheap. I'm gonna sell to United States. And I, I think United States government, uh, you know, bought it from Peru too to ease off the economy. But he didn't know that. And damn, he made a, that. That's ridiculous, man. The level of loss that would cause. How did that made him the emperor, though? Quintly got into a years-long court battle with the vendor who sold him the shipment, which only cost him more money and ultimately left the man destitute. So Norton did what anybody would do after losing everything. He drank a nice hefty dose of fuck it all and said, "You know what? The courts can eat my shorts. The house can eat my blouse." Peru can eat my shoe. I declare myself emperor of these United States. And I'm telling every newspaper in the city about it. And then Oh, okay. So I see what happened. He lost his mind because he made, he had such a big loss. Okay. I'm like, hmm. I genuinely, when I saw the title, I'm like, hmm, United States had an emperor? Even with some weird technicality. I didn't know about that, but no. It's just he lost his mind and he was, you know, calling himself emperor. Yeah, it would happen to anyone. Losing that much money. 
Then he did. Now the papers could have just been like, what a lunatic, and that would have been the end of it. But instead they said, you know what, this guy's kind of a meme. Let's publish his declaration, just for gits and shiggles. People across the city and had- And I see this, this goes against every, every ethical code of newspaper or any news related thing. This is where news goes wrong. Newspapers, news channels goes wrong. I mean, you know, you are a trusted source. When you publish something, people take that with authority, like, yeah, the newspaper wrote it. You can't just, you know, uh, release joke news like that. That would cause massive issues. And that's the biggest issue today, with in USA, even in most countries. News needs to be, you know, uh, unbiased and more, you know, proper than just, you know, uh, going after the ratings their laughs and Norton's rise to power began. From here, he issued several more commands to the Similar media, thing happened and in 2016, unlike nowadays, apparently. people loved having regular Norton updates shoved in their face. Among these announcements was a decree in 1859 to formally abolish the United States Congress. He also gave out a mandate to both the Protestant and Roman Catholic churches to formally ordain him as emperor. Although these edicts were ultimately ignored by the powers they were addressed to, they still served to build Norton's reputation around the city, and before long, he was a full fully-fledged local celebrity. He was easily recognized by passerby, typically sporting a blue naval uniform and a beaver hat with a peacock feather in it. Pretty soon, Norton could expect to receive the royal treatment wherever he went. People started to address him formally on the streets, he got to ride public transport for free, and he even got occasional tax payments from people sympathetic to his impoverished living situation. Oh, and get this, Norton became so famous that toy stores in the city began selling dolls and people think only internet age is the only time where memes can be a reality, where people, you know, take memes and, you know, takes it way far. Look at right here, without the internet. <laughs> this is stupid. ...of the man for kids to play with. How many people can you think of that were so legendary that they got dolls made after them? You got Emperor Norton, Mr. T, and the bear that Teddy Roosevelt decided not to shoot. That's it, really. Also, though not backed by actual law in any way, his declarations came to be taken relatively seriously by the populace around him. For example, according to Norton, saying Frisco instead of San Francisco would be punishable by a $25 fine. Talk to any Frisco native and you'll find that this attitude survives to this day. With the help of a local <laughs> printing firm, Norton even issued his own currency, which was actually accepted by many residents of the city, despite having no backing behind it whatsoever. In fact, a few Norton bucks are still floating around today as highly valued collector's oh. items. I tried doing the same thing. Okay, I get it, you know, a joke went a bit too far, or I understand that. How <laughs> is this currency was working? I guess people are just like, poor guy, he lost his mind, he's poor. So whenever he came around with that money, he's like, alright, fine, I'll take that. I guess when other people came with that money too, they're like, fine, the poor, you know, they probably give their money to that poor guy, so I'll take that too. In that sense, you know, money had power, I guess. What is currency, I mean? I mean, currency has value because people agree that it has value, so in that sense, it kind of works. <laughs> this is so stupid, man. ...thing a while back, but unfortunately, Onella rubles are still only worth their weight in Onella rubles. Of course, it wasn't all magpies and molasses for our good friend Josh. He was once arrested by a policeman named Armand Barbier, who wanted to throw him in an asylum for his apparent insanity. Needless to say, when the public caught wind of this, they lost their fucking minds. Irate citizens wrote complaints in droves. All the newspapers published scathing editorials towards the police department. Stray cats were thrown into wood chippers. I don't what? have any evidence for that last one. I'm I'm just, you know, assuming based on what I would do in this scenario. Anyway, pretty soon- Alright, by now I should have seen that coming. I've seen enough of Sam video like, yeah, that's a Sam joke. I should have seen that coming. Uh, yeah, so that, that cop is the idiot, yeah. He wanted to, you know, put him into an asylum because he was clearly crazy. But apparently that cop was the wrong one. He needs a medical, you know, a medical assistant, this guy. But no, 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 let's just keep him on street. Let him believe that he's an emperor, I guess. The chief of police got the memo, and Emperor Norton was released unscathed. Thankfully, Norton issued a royal pardon towards the man who arrested him, and from that point onward, whenever Norton passed a member of the force, they would stop and salute him. So, although in many ways he appeared godlike, Norton was but a mortal. And, as mortals sometimes do, Emperor Norton decided to drop dead on a street corner on January 8th of 1880. However, he left behind a legacy the likes of which most of us could only dream of. Beyond just the comedic value of his many exploits, Norton definitely- 
All right. First of all, the cop who arrested him. After that, if he did went to asylum, maybe his life would have changed. Maybe he, would, I don't know, he would have become somewhat normal than just being plain out crazy. Maybe he wouldn't have died like that. So the people who wrote the like, yeah, release the release the Norton. Basically, they helped killing him. I know this is a twisted way of looking at it, but that's kind of true too. Definitely had his prophetic moments, with some of his orders actually coming true decades after they were given. On multiple occasions, he ordered a bridge to be built between San Francisco and the Oakland Bay Area, which was eventually constructed in the 1930s. Right. He also told people to form a League of Nations to uphold international interests. Unfortunately, a man yelling in California wasn't quite enough to convince the leaders of the world that such a thing was necessary. But who knows? Maybe the little Nordo could have stopped World War One if he had been just a bit louder. I hope yeah, this tale okay. has inspired some of you. <laughs> Young impressionable kids out there. That's stupid, of course. Only reason League of Nations worked because there was a world war. If there was no world war and somebody just said, you know, make a League of Nations or no war, people were like, get the hell out of here, man. Not because I expect any of you to succeed in the same way Norton did, but just because it's my personal belief that the world could always use more oddball vagrants. Wait a minute. Oddball vagrants? Product placement. Sacred. Sponsor time. <laughs> Question. Do you do literally anything? If the answer is yes, then chances are you can get a lot of use out of a website powered by Wix. You can give your small business the professional makeover. I mentioned it's free. So please try Wix today. Yeah, we will go to Wix.com for us. Let's go for us. Let's slam the Sam and support that channel. All right, I started this video thinking, hmm, there was a technically one United States Emperor because of some technicality that could be a thing. Maybe this is the same guy who has the Norton antivirus thing or something because that was in the thumbnail. But no, no, this was completely different. A guy who lost his fortune buying rice, lost his mind, called himself an emperor. You know, people took it as a meme. It went way too far. Obviously started with stupid newspaper, newspaper, you know, publishing this joke news rather than being serious. That's the issue so far. Uh, and that just went way too far and people like, yeah, this is funny. And they just, you know, went with it. A, guy, a police officer literally like, you know, this is stupid. Arrested him and tried to put him in asylum and people just went ballistic, like release him, release him. He needs help, man. What's wrong with you? And he died in the end. So I guess people were a-holes, not that policeman. This was sad, man, though. He lost his fortune and lost his mind. In the, but in the end, even after losing his mind, he at least got the respect of people. You know, policemen were saluting him. Like, that's something at least. Oh, man, how many stories are like this there are? I mean, Sam has a tons of video and he stopped making videos. But I, I think there are so many stories like this. Sam could make videos for years like this. This is ridiculous. Alright people, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, check out my other videos that I did uh, in the description. Check out the NCAR cast for the playlist of Sam Monella videos I did. And other playlists too. And yeah, I'll see you next time.